cool. Hey, I got a round ball here. Like a little old musket ball. It's got a little bit of patina on it, so it's been in the ground for a while. Not sure how old it is, but that's cool. Get an old piece of history here. civilian or what, but it's, it's an old one. Like I got a weedy. 1927. If you can see that. Looks like it's in pretty good condition. Here's the back of it. See the one sin on the top in the reverse. It's good to find right there. Take those all day long. Alright, we're gonna keep digging and see if we can come up with anything else. I've been digging, I got one round ball earlier and then I've been digging lots of random bullets. Some of them are kind of modern, but this one's kind of like a little pistol bullet. Um, I call it a pistol bullet, I guess, but it's got the ring on it and it's solid base. I'd call it uh, probably post-Civil War. I'm not sure how old exactly, but interesting design. I've got kind of a variety of bullets going on in there. You know, a lot of these are more modern, but and then getting a few of these like this with this base to it like that. I call these wad cutters. I think those are a lot more modern. But then mixed in, you're getting some of these little pistol bullets like that that, I don't know, they've got a little bit of patina on them, so they've definitely been there a while. might have a little bit of decoration on it just scrub it with a little brass brush or something to see if I can get some of that to come through but definitely an old button so probably uh, one of the teachers or one of the uh, kids that went to school here came off of one of their shirts or something so pretty cool
double bullet, half bullet. That is almost looks like it could be a tiny teeny tiny little button it's got holes on the back side it looks like you think that's like a teeny tiny little button oh, hold on oh, that's weird yeah it's got a design to it doesn't it yeah a little decorative piece maybe off a of kid's outfit or that's something that's kind of what I'm thinking looks like There's you could it ring up high well, I don't know if that was it. I thought it was a better signal than that. I'll check the hole again. Yeah, that was it. it must have been close to the surface. Maybe it was in the, it was in the 70s. A little brass decorative thing, maybe? Yeah. It was, I know the playground was here, so. Sure, it's a wheaty, but <laughs> I'll never be able to see the date until I clean it. That was ringing up about a 77, 75, 77. Kind of like all the bullets we've been finding. So we're out this afternoon in a pretty cool place. This is an old neighborhood. A lot of it's been uh, mobile homes and that kind of uh, housing for a long period of time. It goes back to the 50s. It's being torn apart right now. I've kind of been watching this for a while, keeping my eye on it. I uh, went and talked to the foreman here, got permission to get out here and do a little hunting. So we got a few guys out here. We may come back again because as we're sitting here, the sidewalks are being ripped up, the streets are being ripped apart. This place isn't gonna be here much longer. It's gonna be converted into a commercial or some kind of you know fancy expensive new neighborhood but you can look around there's tennis courts there's what's left of a swimming pool there's a duck pond there's a playground and just street after street after street of where houses used to sit and mobile homes used to sit so uh, we're going to take advantage of it while we can this is an ideal situation already you know putting a bunch of coins in the pocket hopefully get some old ones by the time we're said and done since it goes back to the 50s but uh, i foresee another trip back here in the near future
quarter. Oh, it's a spill. See that? Yeah, it'd be nice if it had been an old spill. See what we got in there. See all the coins? All stacked together. I saw the edge of the this quarter first, but so we got that. There's a dime. Man, this would be great if this had been silver. Another quarter, 1971. Another clad dime. That one's in the 90s, so really not that old of a spill, but it's a good spill nonetheless. So, cool. 70 cents right there, I'll take it. I see it, another quarter. All right, back in the same hole where the spill was at, there's another quarter in there. Again, not silver, but still pretty cool. See if there's any more. I'm getting another signal in the side of the hole here. Another quarter. No, no it's not. My bad. It's a, looks like it's an old cap. About the size of a quarter though. Well, that's trash. Let's scan it again. See what else we got. I think that was the last of it. So it was a, what, 95 cent spill there. So, cool, keep going. It's a lawnmower coin. Got nicked right in the center of it. Talking about what a glory hole this thing is here. Man, coming up, I can just see coins on the ground. I hit a hit right there and I'm looking to go down to dig and I've just spot that bird dog with my eyeballs. There's a nickel sitting there on the ground and it looks old. This is just a playground for detecting. This is awesome. This was a good signal here. I just lost it. Where are you at? Where are you at? Yeah, it's, a, it's a dime. It's a clad dime. Here's that. 80 something. Coins everywhere. Not even gonna bother worrying about what they are, just throw them in the bag. If I see silver, then I'll smile. No, that can't be it. What is that? Yeah. Yes, that is it. This is it looks like some sort of little it looks like a little modern token. I think it's a little arcade token. It says Namco on it. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It fooled me because I thought when it, it didn't sound like a nickel, but when it came out, I thought it was a nickel, but knew it couldn't have been. But that's, yeah, it's a little, probably just a little brass. I just got five pennies out of the, oh, there's four pennies and a nickel stacked on top of each other. Huh. That made quite a signal. dime so there are coins everywhere here but so far we haven't found anything that's silver uh, the earliest dime I've gotten has been a 67 so it's hovering right on the border there of a uh, silver territory so feel pretty confident they're out here though
sure enough, there's another one. Looks like it's in the 80s. See what else I got. Saved it in my special pot. Yeah, I got onto this lot, and because uh, it had a lawn out there that kind of untouched, and I probably got four or five quarters off of it, and a bunch of pennies and a couple of dimes. And back here in this area, I got this little pendant, this little insurance. Proof of insurance from Southwestern Life. And on the back, it has the serial number for the policy holder. And those were usually done, you know, in, you know to carry with you in case of accident or illness. And I got this key. another dime. <clears throat> Looks like we're starting to lose our uh, daylight out here a little bit. Man, get here in the afternoon. What a great place to detect, you know. I think we're going to have to come back here again. I don't know if you can see inside this pouch, but uh, it is just full of coins. Let's see if I can get some of these out of there. Got a key there. Got some Hot Wheels down the bottom. Now I'm just dropping coins down the hole. Look at that. Putting treasure back in the ground. All right, I just dumped out my pouch here. I've got Hot Wheels and some other miscellaneous, you know, odds and end things in here, but I just dumped into my shovel the coins I've got. Quarters, dimes, nickels, pennies, the whole array. You know, we're probably out here an hour and a half, two hours at the most. Uh, unfortunately, we kind of came upon this place late in the afternoon. I think this definitely warrants a trip back here to work this place before they get it completely torn down and rebuilt. I think if we can maybe get a picture from some of the other guys, we'll try. I'm sure everybody's got at least this many coins in their pouch. Maybe with any luck, somebody's got some other good finds. Uh, heck of a couple hours of hunting. Got the AT Gold with the small coil on there, the 5x8. It just squeaks out right between anything else, all the good coins. So. Uh, Definitely keep your eyes out for places like this. You see construction going on, try to get permission to get in there. You got a limited time. So this is just a classic example of get in there and get it while you can before the opportunity is gone. See you next time. Okay, these are the things I found today. I found lots of quarters. I found a couple of dimes and nickels. I found a couple of house letters. And of course, one of my favorites is this little cannon. I wish I could have found the bottom of it, but it looks old. Um, and I'm just a little new car, but it's a huge area. I think there's lots of potential. There should be some silver and jewelry out here if we just come back and have time to do it. So it's a great place. I like it. We need to get here while we can before it's gone. On the way out today, I noticed this trailer park was uh, emptied. And when we went to the other place, when we got through there, I, would, I thought we ought to come back here and check it out. Sure enough, this turned out to be a great uh, place to hunt. We found a lot of clad, and uh, I don't think we found any silver, but there is a lot of money out here to be found. Plus, I found an interesting insurance uh, pendant and a uh, sports pin. The insurance pen pendant is uh, goes back probably to the 50s, where you don't uh, carry stuff like that anymore. But yeah, this turned out to be a, a really good hunt today. I'm real happy with it. Um, did pretty well considering the time that we've been here. Um, 
pretty obvious that this site hasn't been detected before. Um, just within an hour or so, we started picking up lots of modern clad. I mean, including the 95 uh, cent coin spill, which is pretty nice, three quarters and two dimes. Um, got a little old button there. I mean, it's just everywhere you swing, there's a coin, a coin, a coin, a coin, and there's probably hundreds, maybe, I don't know, 50 to 100 spots here where there was a mobile home trailer. So, I mean, you do the math. You know, tons and tons and tons of pocket change everywhere. Probably some silver coins, some silver jewelry. And a couple of tokens here as well. There's like a little shell uh, token here. Star Spangled Banner with a flag on it. And then this other coin, uh, the Namco Arcade token. And then um, there's another one in here that was, looked like it was a foreign coin of some kind. I'll have to look and see if I can identify that. But it's been a pretty cool site. I mean, I'm definitely, definitely going to have to come back here because there's just so much ground that needs to be covered and who knows what's going to be there. So um, I've had a great day. It's been really fun and found some cool stuff. So, Hey, I'm out here with uh, Garrett and uh, today I found this uh, nice little cat. I think it comes off of uh, maybe some kind of a wind chime or something. Um, I got a bunch of clad coins, some pennies and some dimes, one quarter. And uh, I also found this nice little silver charm. Uh, about half an inch down, not deep at all, really. And uh, today I was out here with the AT Pro, and uh, it did good for me today.